everybody, welcome to this session of Calf Chat. My name is Dr. Jen, I'm with the Calf Team, and so today we'll be talking about walking through maternity and how to practice proper biosecurity while helping calves and cows in maternity pens. So the main reason that biosecurity in maternity area is so important is because this is the number one spot on dairies where we're able to have the biggest risk for transfer of pathogens from mom to baby. So by practicing proper biosecurity protocols that we're going to go through next, we'll be able to limit the spread of diseases such as E. coli, Salmonella, and Yonis that calves can get through manure transfer from mom to baby. So by avoiding transfer of these pathogens between mom and baby, before that calf gets colostrum, we're able to help better ensure that the calf is going to be able to absorb a sufficient number of IgGs in the colostrum from her dam, and this will allow for a more successive passive transfer of immunity. When we get a better passive transfer of immunity and higher IgG levels in that calf, one of the benefits of that is in that first week of life and beyond, that calf is healthier and it'll be an easier job overall for your calf feeders to take care of those calves for you. So anytime anybody walks into maternity pens, whether or not they're group pens or individual pens like this, they need to make sure to have clean boots, clean gloves, and sleeves or any other equipment must be clean. So this is really essential because we want to make sure that that cow stays as clean as possible and that calf stays as clean as possible. Uh, so the first thing you're going to make sure people do is once the calf is out, that anybody who's working with the cows and the calves takes care of the calf first. This will make sure that we minimize transfer of any of those bugs, whether they're bacteria or viruses, from the cow to the calf. Once the calf is born, I am okay if the cow stays with the calf as long as that cow is licking the calf. She can lick it up for about 10 to 15 minutes, but we really want that calf out of maternity before that calf makes any standing attempts. This will help reduce the risk that that calf is going to get essentially a manure meal as her first meal before she gets colostrum from mom. So anytime that calf stands up, her head is going to hit the ground and that will increase the chance that she gets exposed to the viruses and bacteria that may be in the pen environment. If you don't have the ability to bring calves out of maternity right away, Another tool is as soon as you see a calf that's born, you can always segregate that calf into a clean corner or a clean tub. This will allow the, ca the cow to continue to lick the calf off while you continue to do other chores if you have a small enough operation where you do not have designated maternity help. So after the calf is born and when it's ready to be moved from maternity, everything that that calf comes into contact between the maternity pen and the newborn calf area, we want to be clean. So whether it's any of the moving equipment, so the wheelbarrow that you'll see today, that's cleaned and disinfected between every calf. The next thing we want to make sure is that all the iodine dippers are clean or they're single use, and then anything that goes in the calf's mouth, so the colostrum equipment, and also anything as far as vaccines um, or oral antibodies that are given to the calf needs to be clean and disinfected and then anytime a calf is going into a warming box we need to make sure that that is clean and disinfected between calves because anytime manure is going to get into it it's going to be an area for bacterial growth that that calf could potentially be exposed to. So and last but not least when it comes to maternity biosecurity we do not want at all costs we want to avoid any mature cows that are about to freshen whether they're pre-fresh calving or post-fresh cows, we do not want them housed with sick cows. Uh, there's been a couple studies done that have showed that when we introduce sick cows into the post-fresh or pre-fresh pens, we increase the risk that there will be salmonella transmitted between the groups on farms. A lot of this has to do with the fact that cows that are around calving tend to be more susceptible to diseases and they're also more susceptible to getting um, exposed to diseases from the animals that are shedding them, which are typically your sick cows that are in the pens with them. Thanks for listening to this edition of Calf Chat. As you can tell, it's very important in maternity to practice proper biosecurity for the livelihood of your calves and their futures. If you have any other questions, please contact your local VitaPlus rep. See you next time. Thanks.